Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Endurance disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. It has recently re-emerged. You are a member of a rescue crew sent in to investigate a distress signal coming from a once lost cargo vessel. In the harsh weather conditions, the rescue operation went away. You are the only member of your team who made it onto the ship. You head below deck to look for any signs of life. All right, looks like we're getting right into it, guys. Welcome, Slashes, Ghosts, and Ghouls, and welcome to Lazarette. Uh, honestly, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but hey, let's do this. Now, this game that looks very, very interesting, so I'm quite interested to see what I can we lean. Ah, you know, leaning left and right has become quite popular in horror games nowadays, so I'm quite surprised you can't do it. Well, maybe we still can, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so, you guys didn't see it. Oh yeah, there it is. Dude, that is so weird. They actually make it look like the ship is like weaving left and right, you know, from the waves. And like, yeah, you can like reduce this. So I, I believe maybe turn it off for motion sickness, but you know what? Let's keep it authentic, shall we guys? I ain't no pussy. The game looks great so far. This has really been a fantastic year for horror. Don't you guys agree? The industry has been killing it, man. Right, I'm not sure where we have to head now. But I see you down there, little mannequin man. Guess let's see where the path takes us. Hello, anybody still alive? We got a distress call from you, fellows. I want to be the hero. I'm going to save everyone on this here vessel. But I can't do it if I go and find shit. Oh man. Go around you somewhere? Anything on here? No. If I was a briefcase code, where would I be hiding? I guess we'll come back for it, guys. I'm not gonna waste too much time now seeing this is only the demo. So far, it's got my attention. Anything on here? Uh, work regulation. Okay, that's just a work regulation. Doubt that would be the briefcase code. Hey, you never know. Doesn't seem to move that. So I must say, the atmosphere they're building seems pretty, pretty nice. Let's see how long it holds up. I knew it was going to be locked. I was about to say, well, if this door can open, I have to come check downstairs first. Man, don't I have a flashlight? It is dark as hell. Well, so far, no spooky shit. Sad thing about my team, though. I can't believe no one actually made it onto this ship. But, you know, this, this ship disappeared for quite a few years. And... Hey, buddy. Now it's finally showing its head again, so... Dude, this motion sickness thing is pretty cool. You gonna what happened? Oh, dude, yeah. Is that guy gonna get a lot, like, become alive and attack me or some shit? Oh, he's still there. Let's just double checking. What the hell happened to you guys? Any uh, briefcase codes in here? Ooh, that has to be it, right? 1947. Oh, we can actually hide. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we have a sprint at the moment, guys. Oh, hey, buddy. Obviously gonna need a crowbar for this. I, it can't be broken by my hand here. All right, let's see if we can go. Oh, fuck. I, for I actually completely forgot the code. <laughs> Uh, where was it again? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, get that. All right, there we go. One nine four seven. Nineteen forty-seven. Guys, please remember that for me, okay? My old man brain is probably gonna forget. Nineteen forty-seven. Probably gonna get a crowbar in there or some shit. 
Just gotta remember where the damn briefcase was. 1947. Gotta remember Agent 47 and then the 19. Alright. This feels too easy, man. Something is bound to happen now, guys. There's no way we can just go get the scroll bar that easy. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Is that the radio going off? Alright, 1947. Let's go. 1947. Like a bouse. Oh, interesting. Picked up anchor ready. So, I did notice another anchor like that downstairs. I don't know if you guys saw it. It looked like almost like it was on top of a scale, you know? Like weighing shit. Yes, we'll see what we're gonna have to do with that. Alright, down we go again. Weird shit was already happened, so let's see if anything's changed. Something's probably changed. Yeah, I don't remember you being down here, buddy. You alive? Oh, he's, he's alive, guys. I wonder if that was our friend uh, sitting there. Oh, you're still here. What the hell? It's like a year footsteps behind me. That's so freaky. I right, see. So yes, the scale I was talking about. There we go. What I get? I get an unlocked door as a reward. Hmm. But now the question is, what is if we go down there into the vent? Do we actually get the flashlight? You stay put, there, friend. We don't want any trouble now. Can I go down? Okay. Nothing there, I guess. I was hoping we could pick up a flashlight. It looked like there was a flashlight in there. I guess not. The audio design is fucking sick. Probably can't go. It's so dark, dude. Come on. Give me a flashlight already. What horror game doesn't give you a source of light, man? Don't be like that. Is that blood of water? I can't really tell. Ooh, are we playing spooky music? Did I miss something? Alright. Ah, it's the chains making noise. I was like, what? Sounds like there's like a trolley or something behind me, you know? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no master of ships. I don't really have the biggest knowledge on it, right? How it works and operates, but... I'm surprised there's still power on this ship, man. I don't know how long, like, like the power sources can keep running. If any of you guys have a bit more ship knowledge than me, please let me know, man. Let me know in the comments. What you got for me, friend? That a key? Okay. Picked up stairwell key. Now, he's probably gonna start chasing. And I'm gonna have to hide. Yep. Oh, we angered him. When a game tells you what's the button to run, you know shit's coming. Oh god. Wait, is he moving? Okay, he's still there. I'm so ready for him to start chasing us. Okay, that's not much of a sprint, but I guess it's something. Man, I feel like he's gonna start like just chasing after us any second. So I'm guessing we're gonna go upstairs, open that door, and find like a crowbar or something, right? Oh god, here we go guys. I'm betting this door's gonna open and we have to run past it. Well I can't sprint right now. Can't seem to open that door either. Probably have to go check the door and he's gonna start chasing me. Or this guy's gonna grab me. 
Yeah, I'm trying to predict a lot of the scares in this game. Just want to see how predictable it is, you know? Maybe I'm just using it to call myself. You, know, you never know. All right, well, fuck it. Let's walk into him. I guess I guess that's what the game wants us to do, right? Right? Ah, the old fake scare. Well, let's make our way up the staircase as quickly as possible. There we go. Alright. So far, so good, guys. We haven't died yet. We haven't shite our pants yet. I see you down there. I have so many questions, like, what happened on the ship? Alright, well, there's more than one. That's a good sign. Don't mind me, lads. I'm just out here looking for a crowbar or something, you know, to get rid of some wooden boards on a door. You guys, uh, maybe you can uh, point me in the right direction over there, eh? It's not. Keep your secrets. I'll figure them out eventually. And that's one dark ass corridor. It's getting smaller. Almost looks like it's getting smaller. It's probably just, you know, the lighting. That's freaky as fuck, dude. I love it. Hell yeah. Get me on edge is what I want. That's a very Resident Evil ass looking door, not gonna lie. Shit, well. Ah, I see. Now oh, something's gonna start chasing us. Oh, oh that's gonna happen. Hmm. This fucking nasty man. I was about to say, if the body's still hanging at it, that's gonna be pretty weird. Picked up a crowbar. Hey, pal. Quite a few of you fellas here, eh? So far, I'm not- I haven't been really that successful predicting this game, which is a very, very good thing. This game is doing something different. But I just see someone lean around the corner. Um, that wasn't my eyes playing tricks on me, was it? Did you guys see it? Now, I wonder if we have stamina. I'm holding down the yield sprint right now. I guess we'll see. Man, the atmosphere in this game is perfect. It is really perfect. I feel nervous coming around every corner because I'm just wondering what changed, you know? Pretty good. Okay, he's still here. They haven't seen Shadow Guy yet. He's still in the locker. Alright, let's open this shit up, guys. Whew, okay. The statue started to appear on the third day. It was just one or two at first, but more would show up every day, and by the end of the week, there were dozens of them. Um, multiple pages have been torn out. Some of the statues have started moving. They've killed three people already. When evacuating the quarantined areas, I whistled to get the crew's attention and one of the statues whistled back. Dude, that is freaky. We've only had uh, one more fatality in the last week. The sentient statues will always whistle back and it's proven an effective way of avoiding danger. Though, they won't respond if you're too close. Still, I think it would be for the best for the rest of us to find a safe place. Hold up for now. Okay. Um, there's not many of us left now. The engines have stopped, but we can't get to the breach. There's something else on the ship, and it stalks the corridors looking for survivors. The safest place for us right now is in this room. We just hope we're rescued soon. Rescue to whistle. Revealing nearby threats. Oh, God. Here we go, guys. It's getting tense. Um... Damn, bro. Ah, oh, thank you. Finally, the flashlight. All 
Alright, there's definitely whistling coming from this way. Okay, where do we even go now? Okay, so if there's, is there, uh, I can't even speak. If there's a threat that side, we probably have to go this way, right? Ah, oh, this is what it totally looked like blood of the red light. Right, no, I'm guessing we're gonna have to go towards the whistling, right? I mean, it makes sense, right, guys? Buddy? Alright, let's test this out, guys. I know whistle, so danger is probably around the corner, right? The statue started appearing, but are these guys supposed to be sta- I, I thought it's like something happened to the people. Like, there's an actual person, something happened to their body because of the ocean, you know? Well, no whistling back yet. Ooh. I'm fully expecting something to come out of that goddamn elevator, guys. Come on, you bastards! Oh god, there it is. I was just about to say, where's the goddamn whistle? Oh my lord, that's coming from down this hallway. Alright, well, let's avoid that area for now. Alright, now whistle, that's a good sign. Nothing yet. We've got lockers here, I believe we should be able to hide in. Ah! Right, you see, this game is being an asshole, guys. They want us to walk into danger right now. You know what? I'll put my big boy pants and I'm gonna do it. Is this for that whistle? Ah, no whistle. I know you guys are waiting for me down here. It's gonna be you, isn't it? They're like barnacles on it, whatever. Can't be opened by a hand. I can't tell if that was a whistle. Just some background noise. We're gonna have to do something with that as well. Right now I'm looking for something like a screwdriver or a crowbar maybe again. Fuck me! What the hell are you, buddy? What the fuck is that? Are you like the chief of the statue people? Okay, well, that's fun. Oh, God. Bro, come on. 
Well, this isn't helping at all right now. Got another briefcase code to do. Okay, we still need to find that. Now I'm wondering, this is a clock, so maybe we need to look around for a clock on the wall. See, like, which direction the hands are showing. Maybe that's the combination for the uh, briefcase. Let's, let's see if we can find a, a clock on the wall, guys. Keep your eyeballs open. Oh, well, here we have a clock. It's like, what's that? Like, um, 25 minutes to 11, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 25. So we've got 25 minutes to 11. Uh, let's see if we can, how we can work with that for that combination. It's the only clock I've seen around, so it has to be it, right? Maybe 25, 11? Let's go try it. Or 11, 35. Hey, there we go! <laughs> Uh, uh. All right, now we can open that up. I totally overthink that, dude. <laughs> we got a big boy walking around in these parts down. Right, progress guys, progress! Alright, where the hell are we now? Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Moon seal. Okay, interesting. What do we got here? Oh, we got projector slides. I know what that was as well. Okay, I see where we are. I just gotta remember where the hell that projector room was. Alright, see where we go. Alright. So something is behind that thing with the radio on top of it. Okay, we so have a red locker in there. And then there's a rescue thing, a majiki, and a radio. Okay. Freaky as fuck, boy. Let's see if we can. <laughs> yeah, in my heart, dude. Chill, bro. That sent a shiver down my entire spine, man. Okay, it's not in here. Is this is it. Ah, uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Nice. We actually found it. Oh, it just hit me, guys. With all these seagulls, as for that Resident Evil ass looking door. Nice. Okay, now we just have to get back to the door, I'm guessing. We're gonna get one last scare from Big Boy, I'm guessing. Now, again, I have to remember where the hell that door was. Feels stupid, I know, guys, but trust me, if you play it for yourself, you'll, you'll also feel like you get lost very easily. Oh, get me out of here, boy. Oh, I see, Luke. Pretty dope, man. Yeah, you don't see anything, buddy. Oh, 
Ah, oh, come on, don't do me dirty like that, man. Oh god, I guess now we run. Yes, my mighty sprint. Let me go! Let me go! I'm gonna get out of here. This slow poke ain't gonna catch up. Oh god, he's actually pretty fast. No, we dead, bro. We dead, fuck! We dead, fuck! No way, bro. No way. Dude, what the hell are you, man? And Q end of the demo. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for playing the Lazarus demo. We're hoping to release the full game early in 2023. If you enjoyed the demo, consider wishlisting the game on Steam. I'm most certainly I'm going to wishlist it. I really enjoyed that, dude. That was pretty good, man. God damn, that chase is intense, man. Like, why you gotta open everything so goddamn slow? Pretty interesting, man. It's like some Resident Evil vibes going on here, man. That was pretty damn good. Well, guys, I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to support me. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And remember, keep your blade sharp. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.